call the meeting to order. Jeremy, do you want to call roll? Yes. Bradford. Here. Lieber. Here. Hamill. Hannaford. Here. Decker. Here. Eaton. Staff. Okay, we have quorum. Uh, item three, approval of minutes of the December 12, 2023 regular meeting. You guys had a chance to review the minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes for December 12, 2023. Mm -hmm. Second there. Motion. Any discussion? Motion's been made by Hannaford, seconded by Bradford to approve the minutes of the December 12th, 2023 regular meeting. Roll call vote. Bradford? Yes. Lieber? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Decker? Yes. Motion carries. Item four, approval of financials to March 5th, 2024. Jeremy, do you have any comments or um, explanations you'd like to share at this point? I mean, it, it's um, occasionally you'll, you'll have times where um, um, there may be some pledge funds that haven't been transferred over. I think though I, this is pretty up to date. Um, it actually is to March 7th um, that it, it was done to. Um, the, nothing really major to report. We increased 1500 in pledges from last year, so that's one thing you'll see. Um, on the pledge list, there's still some that have not. Um, with that, og &E, it's, as they say, is in the works. It's in their... That's the one I was going to ask about. Yeah, in the, in the process, as it always is, as well as their um, turkey hunt um, funds. Um, I've reached out a few times to Marshall Funeral Home. If anybody would like to, that's fine. Um, WCIDA, that's the Industrial Authority, um, they uh, generally will give in the summertime. Um, and then you'll see just a, there's a couple of others there that are um, smaller amounts. If anybody has contact, um, I would appreciate it. I've reached out by phone, email, and letter. So all three sources there. I really don't have anything else, though. We're doing pretty good. I was say, it looks like we'll pretty much be about where we were last year, or maybe a little bit above if all of them come in. Yes. Any other questions or comments for Jeremy? On your overall budget, Jeremy, is that everything looking okay based on the income so far, the pledges so far? Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good on that. Okay. Um, do I have a motion for item four, approval of financials? And should we change this to March 7th, since that's the date of the financials rather than March 5th? Yeah, normally, I just have approval of financials. For whatever reason, I decided to type March 5th because that's what the plan was. But then I started having computer issues, and I couldn't pull the report. So okay. it ended up being March 7th. OK. We'll make that adjustment in the minutes to March 7th. I'll make a motion to approve the financials. Second. Hannaford made the motion to approve the financials to March 7th. Leaper seconded. Roll call vote. Bradford? Yes. Leaper? Yes. Decker? Yes. Hannaford? Yes. Motion carries. Um, item 5. <coughs> Update, discussion, possible action regarding the status of goals and objectives, <coughs> excuse me, and staff activities. Jeremy? Yeah, most of this is just going to be an update for you all. Um, website, we now have the demographic map that's on there, the one that you were wanting. It looks pretty good. I'll okay. have you take a look at it, okay. but it's very similar. 
Um, and also with resources uh, that I have, I'm working with the University of Kansas actually for some um, just basic uh, documentation that they give me approval to use. So I'll kind of take their their um, format of things and just revamp it to Oklahoma standards. And so we can really build up that resource library. They have like, honestly, they have about 10,000 items that are on there from a SWOT analysis to surveys to um, just a lot of stuff um, that we can use. I'm trying to separate it into a three um, category, uh, one being uh, just solely for community. So um, any resources that a community may have interest in um, businesses themselves, we do have that already, um, business page, small business page. These three tab options are there, it just doesn't have a lot of content yet. So we're trying to, little by little, we'll increase and add more into it. The third is for consultants, but I'm not really, I don't want to say the word consultants, but it would be something that um, a a consultant might have interest in um, and I wanted to kind of have a resource section for them because consultants are the ones who possibly bring business to the community and so with that said um, it would be nice if they're just always going to our website to get resources and then maybe they'll think hey this is a this is a section we may want to look at anyway so it always puts our name out there so I thought uh, them as a third, so that's uh, what I'm going with there. Turkey hunt, everything's um, on its way. Kay is part of the committee as well as Susan and Kale, uh, and we've uh, got uh, pretty much everything is, is going well. That's uh, Bo was a uh, phone call made to you to see we have a spot if there's anybody you would have interest in inviting as a, a guest, and Susan, that was a, the other reason why I was calling you here. Just because we had talked about it, but if you do, um, what was that date again? Jeremy? April seventeenth through the nineteenth. That's the turkey hunt. If um, you would like to know, um, and going into um, C under number five, the business workshop on April seventeenth. Um, so I'll just kind of put all bundle these two things together. Um, the turkey hunt uh, is April seventeenth through the nineteenth, kicking off with this business workshop. It's a um, retail and business development workshop. So what we have, and the reason why we did this, we did it last year. It was pretty successful and so wanted to do it again this year. It's because a lot of people will read about turkey hunt in the newspaper and they'll, you know, hear that there's a turkey hunt thing, but they're not invited to anything. So it's just kind of a, what is this about? Um, so this is kind of a give back to them. So the businesses, it's a free, it'll, there'll be a free lunch for them. And um, what I decided to do for this time around is tackle some of the things that they may have also read in the newspaper. So we are part of the Main Street program, but when you hear the word Main Street, you don't necessarily know what exactly that means. So I have two directors that are coming from Cherokee and Woodward. They're going to talk about what uh, the benefits were for uh, being in the Main Street program and how it can help. Um, then I have MIO coming um, in made in Oklahoma. I wasn't aware of this, but there, it's um, there's MIO and then there's the Made in Oklahoma Coalition. They're actually two separate entities um, that work together. So both of them are coming to be a speaker, and that'll be from 12 to 1. And then there's been a lot of talk of us uh, becoming certified film friendly. And so uh, the director of the film and music department out of the Department of Commerce, she's going to come and speak from 1 to 2. So that's our slate that we have for that workshop. I think it's a pretty good one. Um, and you know, best of all, it's free. So <laughs> it's free to our, our community and anybody who's coming to it, as well as we don't have to pay our speakers. So I think that's a, a win-win. Uh, the later that day usually is when most of the guests are coming in and they'll get to the headquarters which is still at Cheryl's um, um, barn, yeah, and um, that's where the dinner is planned to be. Um, they usually come in and, and they'll, there'll be food that's there for them, but nothing um, happens really Wednesday evening. Uh, Thursday, usually in the morning, they're out hunting and then we have a tour that's set. 
We did this tour last year, but we were expanding a little bit more to include Freedom this time. So we're going to start at Freedom, um, Freedom Chop House. I actually talked to Mayor Herrera last night, and uh, we're talking about having food that's going to pretty much be ready for them when they get there. So that'll give them some time to go to the museum uh, that's in Freedom. And then they will uh, drive from Freedom or whoever they're riding with to Winoka, where we'll do a tour of the Harvey House and we'll do America's Oasis, and um, they'll also uh, have uh, uh, Ana Maria with America's Oasis. We'll have UTVs for them to go and ride in the desert, so a little, little joy riding, a little fun. After that will be the Lieutenant Governor's Turkey Dinner, which um, starts, well, it really starts at about 5.30, wouldn't you say? Yeah. But 6 is when, when it really is kicking in. Lieutenant Governor himself usually appears around the 7.30 mark. Um, so he will be there. There will be a live auction. All of you, of course, are invited. But um, uh, that's generally uh, what, what's taking place there. The, um, there is going to be a community-type vendor section that we're having where there will be tables. So Winoka will have a table, and Alba will have a table, and Freedom will have a table. Maybe a bard will have something if they so want to, uh, and just have uh, material that's there to kind of uh, to just uh, promote themselves to anybody who is there. So when if they so decide to have America's Oasis on their table, that's perfectly fine. Museums, um, there'll be opportunity for them. And then Friday morning is community coffee with the legislators, and that's going to take place um, at 8 a.m. here at the Technology Center. And then after that, there's a, just a handful of meetings that are set up with our guests and the people who wanted them to come. Um, I'm involved with a few with AVARD and uh, possible prospects, that opportunities that are there. And so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the lineup for the turkey hunt. Uh, any questions? So if any of you have colleagues or people you've been working with or companies you've been working with who would like to come participate and maybe they can't do the hunt part but they'd like to come to the dinner, please let Jeremy know because we'd be happy to invite them. Yeah. Um, you don't have to hunt to come to the dinner, but I think sometimes that that's a piece of it that we don't um, focus on enough. So any, any entity that is benefiting the university, the community, the hospital, the city, whatever. And of course, um, we've got Northwest Technology Center. If you want like a room reserved to meet with somebody, um, obviously the university you probably would have your own spot. But if you want to just set up an informal meeting at the headquarters, you can do that too, because that room is usually available. And I saw a lot of conversations that were just going on um, during throughout the whole um, three days last year. And so that's an opportunity to go out. Um, there's food for them to eat and make just kind of a more relaxing environment instead of an actual formal meeting room. Any questions, comments, discussion? Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Um, item seven. Jack, I'm fixing to hand this off to you. Mm -hmm. Six. <laughs> Are we on six? Yes. Yeah, I thought we, oh, yeah, we did. Um, mm -hmm. I do have a nine mm -hmm. o'clock. So. I saw you guys kind of laid that on me when I missed me. That I, I, yeah, you're buying that. Just goes to show you. Yeah. yeah, that just goes to show you what happens. I know. I knew better than that. Go ahead, Jeremy. Um, so number six uh, is just really, uh, we talked about it last year at this Time. So, uh, donor appreciation. We've done dinner the last two times. Would you care to do a mixer this time? Um, and I give kind of an example of the, the two types. Or would you want a dinner? And then what sort of date are we looking at for it? And if you have any guest speaker preferences, I can reach out to them now also. Any ideas? I think we were toward the end of October this last time, weren't we? I think so, yes. 
And there was the Northwestern Oklahoma State University's alumni. Was yes. it alumni? Yeah, the foundation donor. was holding their donor dinner also. Yeah. And then didn't we run into problems with maybe another event that was going on at the fairgrounds at that same time? I don't think there was anything. No, I think that the only thing was the, was it there, a there was something that week that was happening. Whether was it homecoming or? I just remember that we. Um, it might have been the rodeo. I think it was the rodeo. It might have been the rodeo. So I think the only thing that I can remember is that we needed to back it up before fall break. And generally, Tuesdays are the days that uh, seem to work best. Fulbright's the 17th and 18th. So back it up to the 8th of Tuesday so the before. So the 8th would be the week before, the Tuesday before. And the previous Dover Dinner was <coughs> closer to something like the 8th. It was around the first week of October, and then we moved it. Yeah. So you want, does that work for everyone? Yeah, so far. It's I'll probably the eighth would not work for me, but if that's just one, that's fine. What, what do you got, Jack? Well, that would be, that'd be taking, I have a group of students at Tulsa at the State Fair every time. I mean, that would, I'm sure that's, that's probably pretty close. That sounds very close. It may be, I'd look at mine. But it, don't, don't worry about it. That's, that's something that's, that's okay. Well, I figure that's, that's an action that y'all will want to uh, vote on. If you did a poll or something, set on a poll. You want to do something like that? Well, or, I mean, can at least set that to everybody. Can everybody can kind of check the calendars that aren't here and see if. Okay. Then we can vote on it at the next meeting, Jim. Mm -hmm. Do it that way. Okay. And kind of be thinking maybe about a guest speaker or whatever. Is that what you need us to do? Yeah. Does everybody like the meal? I mean, what, what we've been doing? I thought it was really nice, but I mean, I don't know what the thought of going to heavy hors d'oeuvres would be. The heavy hors d'oeuvres. change it up a little. It, it was um, something I had seen Marco City do, and they had kind of stations that were around. So if um, somebody wanted to have a station about their pool project or America's Oasis or the museums and just kind of a a walk around to see what's happening in the communities is what they did. It was something that I had brought up last year. We decided to just do the dinner, and it's fine if we just do the dinner again this time. It's just a different, a different thing. We still do a presentation. We still have a guest speaker, um, but it's just something that opens it up. Can we should come for? Have we you haven't. done that before here? We haven't done that before. Before me? Not that I'm aware. The donor, the donor dinner first started when I came. So oh, I see. Yeah. Well, that's right. This, is, this will be the third year. Third year. Third year. Yeah. Well, you could try it for something different. I mean, and see how it worked. And then if it didn't work well, we could go back to the other. Uh, I think you could also maybe even get some new businesses with products or if somebody wanted to right. have the product that the, Try this out. Yeah, that could be a, a good way too. It, it's more of a interaction as opposed to just sit down dinner. And it also, I think, a lot of people like networking. This just gives an opportunity to agree. do a consistent networking instead of, you know, okay, it's now time for everybody to sit down and, and eat. Anything else, Jeremy? No, that's it. Now, item seven. Um, with with County and the Industrial Development Authority, uh, not a lot to report there. But we're um, going to be doing the audit. Uh, we haven't really got much into it, um, but the audit is uh, going to happen probably here within the next month. And um, other than that, just um, all three buildings have occupants, um, and that's really 
That's really all I have for the industrial. Any questions? Comments? Okay, moving forward, item eight. Um, say um, I um, got Community Bank to sponsor a windshield survey on March 28th, uh, the luncheon that Charlotte has here, the leadership executive luncheon. Um, she, we're going to uh, reveal the results of that windshield survey. Uh, the person who does it is actually my old boss from the Department of Commerce. She's known for her windshield surveys and she's going to actually come and speak and talk about her findings. And everybody will get a, a copy of the report itself. What a windshield survey basically is, is an outsider comes and drives through the communities and just kind of looks at what's the good, bad, and ugly and takes pictures and just presents it. Um, not anything to insult anybody if you see something that's bad. It's just something that, that what they notice. And, um, you know, it's really one person's opinion, but it's something a lot of communities like to use. Um, I had uh, submitted an RBG, RBBG grant application for a low interest, interest revolving loan fund. I'm not sure if we'll hear much back on that. I hear there's some issues at USDA and shortage of um, <coughs> employees. Have you heard too? Yes. Yeah. Um, so um, it may be a while before we get anything. They said to submit it um, like a week.
they had a previous ordinance or a previous program called Site Ready Program, which is actually the one I created while I was at the Department of Commerce. And there, it went through the third party consultants for a thousand dollar fee. So that thousand dollar fee is now waived. So any um, sites that are there, and then it just becomes more of a marketable <coughs> opportunity for people um, to see that um, you know for any business opportunity prospects that come in. And that's all I have on the economic development report. Any questions or comments for Jeremy? Okay, item nine, motion to enter into executive session pursuant to Oklahoma Statute 25307.B1 for the purpose of discussing the employment evaluation of Jeremy Seller. Do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Okay. Bradford made the motion to enter into executive session at 1235. Hannaford seconded. All in favor? Excuse me. Aye. 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 